Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Small Time Farm. And I left the speed running a little too long, and I said stepped away from the computer for a minute. And the crop had already grown, <laughs> so it's grown. I actually did a couple of passes with the combine, so uh, my apologies. I uh, didn't take you with me for the whole thing, but got this guy put away now. And let's just get into this harvest. Now, uh, what we're going to be doing, obviously, is making more money. But we need to focus on the weed control. And we've got 31,000 as of right now. I forget what the weeder cost. I think the big weeder was... Like 40,000, but there may have been a smaller one that we could get into for a little bit cheaper. So, honestly, that might be what we do just so we can get into something and get, get some weed control going. Because, as you can see, they're kind of scattered around here. You can see them in there, they're green, pink, and white, those different colors. That's all weeds, and that's cutting down on the amount of grain we get per harvest so it cuts down on our dollar amount so we want to get that taken care of as quickly as possible and then I think we're gonna work on maybe some some new fields like 11 and 12 so let's go ahead and get this field harvested Got the harvester full already, so hopefully we get some decent money off of this. And I think the next crop we plant is probably just going to be soybeans. Um, it's uh, it seems to be about the best, honestly, for what we're doing right now. Then once we get field 11 and 12, at least one of them is going to be corn. And as we saw before. I think I showed you. 11 and 12 was on the same property for 157,000. So we'll get there eventually. But um, weed control is definitely high on the on the list of priorities here. So we're going to be doing that first. Let's get this finished up. Probably going to take this load over maybe right now. It's going to be, let's see, we had 40, what, 44 percent. So, you know, we're going to be fairly close to full. 
And, uh, well, you know what, regardless, it's going to be three loads. I think we're going to take this load over. What I might do, just for the time that I'm gone, is go ahead and hire somebody for the combine. I think that's what I'm going to do. Nope, wrong tractor. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and hire somebody here. Okay, I'm going to... Yep, just spill that all over. Okay. Now we have oats. So let's see. Uh, that's the little... That's this one. So the bakery is the best place. Where is the bakery? Bakery. It's always right in town. Okay. So we need to go past the turn for the shop, it looks like. And then it's probably got to turn down here. So let's head on over. All right. Got a little shopping center kind of thing here, maybe. Is this where I turn? Mm, oh, um, yeah, okay. Well, this is actually kind of cool. Looks like I've got a back in here. That's fine. This is actually really kind of a fun little thing to do, especially on these smaller map here, so that's cool. What are we going to get? Let's position that so I can see it. I forget what I had before. 31,000. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be quite a bit better than what we had before. Let's let that kind of go down. You really shouldn't move much at all until your trailer comes all the way down. Um, if you're trying to be realistic with it. That can uh, end up with lots of things bent up and just not a good time. So what do we get? 6,600 roughly. And that was for 88%, I believe. So that's not bad. We're going to have three loads. So yeah, that'll be that'll be a nice little, little harvest. After this, we will... Sorry about that. Knocked, knocked my trash can over. Um, we'll have enough for a weeder. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. I might just get the smaller one. It was, what was it, three meters difference? Something like that. Which, I mean, three sounds not bad, but it, that's actually like nine feet. So that's that's a decent amount of difference. So we might just get the smaller one to kind of try to stick with our theme a little better. I also have some uh, uh, modded tractors that I'm wanting to play with eventually and different things like that so I, I spent a while messing with them I think they look pretty decent so um, hopefully they they end up looking good let's go ahead and position down here at the end of the field I have a feeling we're gonna be mostly full by the time that guy gets down here so Oh yeah, we're we're full now. Let's just go ahead and pipe out. Get this taken care of. Like I said before, I'm really trying to show more in this series. I know I had done a few little cuts in the previous episodes. That was all recorded at the same time. Just didn't realize the footage was so long. But um, really wanting to show more. In this episode, I'm going to try to edit it so that more does get shown. So I'm hoping I can pull that off and make it look decent. Probably going to be a little more music in this episode, uh, I'm assuming. So... Just kind of see how it goes. 
Turn everything back on. Get that pulled in. Let's get back at it. wanted to come back in here for a second this little window right there is so that you can see how much grain you've got in your uh, in your tank back there so I hadn't noticed it on this particular harvester before so that's pretty cool the smaller equipment is just uh, I don't know it's something I like I said several times before I've never messed with it until or at least not really until this series and uh, I, I really I love the models I, I love older equipment um, I've got an old uh, personally I've got an old bulldozer from the 1950s an old Alice Chalmers bulldozer and uh, it actually got left to me from my grandfather, and it hasn't ran in a long time, but uh, that's a project for later. But I absolutely love older equipment and older trucks, everything. So this is going to be... I'm, I'm just having so much fun with this series. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I missed some of that. That's fine. I'll come back and get that. Don't even worry about it. I left some over there, too, on that other pass. So, we'll go back and get all the places we missed here. I think it's just that and that over there somewhere. Can't really see it right now. So, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out for the rest of the field here. Maybe bring you back in for emptying the combine into the trailer. Maybe. Uh, but at the very least, I'll bring you in for selling so yeah let me get some more work done all right we're about full again just go ahead and stop it here get this trailer emptied out or sorry not the trailer we're gonna get the combine emptied out into the trailer then I think we're probably going to hire another worker take this load off Oh, and wreck our combine. That was good. How did that happen? I think it caught on a mirror. Anyways, I'm going to hire a guy, I think, while we're emptying this trailer. And I'm going to cut, and then I'll come back in once we get down there. There's no sense in taking you back and forth repeatedly, I don't think, on all these trips. But, uh, I, I, like I said, I do want to show more. At some point, maybe we'll do like, um, like a drive around on the map or something, maybe. I don't know if we want to take the tractor to do that, or if I want to wait until we get a pickup. Might wait until we get a truck and kind of do that. But then again, that may be a while, since that's not really integral to the farming experience here. So, I'm not real sure, but, uh... Yeah. Let's take this load down. At some point, I'd like to get a, a mod for like a decent, small, older looking baler. But I, I've been looking and I just, I have not been happy with anything that I've found. So, because at this point, we're just wasting all that straw that's being put down. Because I don't think it counts as any kind of a fertilizer or anything like that. Which kind of makes sense. I mean, it's... In a way, it makes sense anyway. It's it's all dry material. But uh, it still would do something. But... Anyways. Let's take this. I guess I should have checked. Let's check and make sure that the bakery is still the best place. 
not there. Uh, let's see. This. And, uh, yeah, so bakery is still the best place. So I'll meet you guys down there. All right. Here we're back at the bakery. I'm trying to get my steering wheel set back up here. So things are a little bit kind of kind of tricky. I'm used to steering with the keyboard. But everything, if you can get it figured out, everything is so much smoother with the steering wheel. So this is okay, this is going to be really awkward for a while. <laughs> Especially the backing up here. Are we on there? Did we get it? How? Oh. The tooltip is not there, but... Okay. Let's see. 41, 42, okay. We are getting... 6,500. We had a little bit less in there this time, so that's kind of to be expected, that it's slightly smaller amount. So that's that's not too big a deal. Like I said, I'm just getting used to this steering wheel again. It's been quite a while since I have actually used it. I think I need to play with the settings a little bit more. Bad thing about this game is that you have to back out all the way to the main menu to change any of these settings so it's it's a little bit tricky a little bit frustrating to uh... to get anything done like that but uh... looks like i need to get back up there my worker has a nearly full tank so let's head on up and get him emptied out alright it looks like this is even the last pass so that's going to be really really nice Once again, kind of threading the needle here. The steering wheel. The steering wheel is very nice, but it's also very tricky at the same time. So, just got to get used to it again, is all. And that, that will come. If you hear any squeaking or anything, <laughs> it's because I've got the steering wheel fastened to my keyboard drawer. And it kind of squeaks a little bit, so... I do apologize for that. Eventually, I want to get something set up better for a, a mount for it. So that's that's just another one of those projects. So eventually, I'll get something set up for it. Okay, we don't need you. I don't have all the buttons mapped either, so I'm doing keyboard plus steering wheel. This is all a little bit tricky. I think I need to back up a little bit more. Back up a lot more. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right. Let's see, can we get in here? Yeah, you can see the. Uh, you can see the steering wheel. And this is all really cool stuff. Still need to mess with the settings a little bit more on it, but. This is so much nicer. Get done with this harvest. Then we're going to need... I don't think we need lime again. Uh, I don't remember seeing that. But we need to get it cultivated again. And get our soybean crop planted. So we're going to do that. And I think... Once I get it planted... I think I might take a look at the weeder. Either that or we can just go ahead and get the weeder now. Regardless, uh, we're going to need to get it cultivated and then, then plant it up. So, okay, turn this off. Pipe out. And let's switch back here. Over here, yeah, it looks like this worked out really well this time. Just taking them with, with two loads and not worrying about getting the completely full trailer. Because either way, you're still taking three loads. So it, it honestly doesn't matter that much. 
So may as well just kind of take it as it comes in. Eventually it would be nice to maybe clear these trees out right here. These trees that are in the way right now. So might look at, at doing that at some point. The problem then would be smoothing out the ground right there. I'm not the best at the terraforming tool. But we'll see. Well, you know, I think I just may have found an easier way to back in here. Maybe not quite as fun to watch. Although it could be. It's amazing how much different this is from the keyboard and mouse. And then I'm 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 not terrible at backing up trailers in real life. You know, that's I definitely I'm not that bad. Okay. Just gonna take some more practice is all. Let's see how much we get for this final load. We had sixty six hundred, then sixty five hundred, and thirty eight hundred. So, uh, bad at math. Okay, so we got about 17,000, roughly. I'm so terrible at math. Especially off the cuff like that. So, I'm going to take this back up to the farm, and then we'll get hooked up to our cultivator and do some cultivating. Alright, let's get this guy backed in. Oh boy, oh boy. Until I get used to it, the steering wheel is definitely uh, not quite as much fun to use. <laughs> but I have a feeling it might be more entertaining to watch. So, that's something at least. Oh, and that's okay. I really wish that the stuff did not do that okay gee okay there we go there we go now we can get hooked back up to our cultivator need to get the combine back out of the field too definitely have much more fine control over things with the steering wheel that's for sure it's just a little bit awkward when you're first getting used to it is all so let's okay why am I why am I limited to nine miles an hour what's happened here the lift what Oh, so that's, that was weird. Game thought the cultivator was down. Okay. That is fine. You can think the cultivator's down. Oh, wrong. Wrong pedal. I used to have, when I played with this before... Oh, boy. Jackknife. I used to have the brake set up on what is actually the clutch pedal to make it a little bit easier because it does not really need to be as stiff as the brake pedal is but I, I haven't I haven't got anything mapped out at all so let's do this come up here and I'm gonna have to move the combine so I'm gonna move the combine and get started with this and I'll I'll cut back in. Oh jeez. Nobody saw that. You didn't see me just run into that. Nope. Nope. Nobody saw it. All right, you guys. Got the end rows all done here. The cultivator. We're actually going to hire a worker because what we're going to do is take a look at the weeders because I've taken a look at the footage and we're gonna be running a long episode here so I think we're gonna end it with this purchase 
and I, I'm probably completely blind. Oh, okay. oh, geez, there it is. Okay. So we've got a 9 meter, a 12 meter, and a 15 meter. Honestly, what we might do for now, let's take a look. Kind of went down a bit of a rabbit hole here, but what do we got here? This is 4.2 meters. Okay. So we're actually... Our cultivator is 3.7. So we would be much, much wider. Yeah, you know what? This is what we're going to go with. I'm going to go with this one right here. We're going to buy it. Yes, 18,000. That's a good purchase. We still got 30,000 left. Now, is there a way? I think there used to be a way you could travel to the shop. Yes, okay. Let's take a look at it real quick. And then we'll take a look at it unfolded at the start of the next episode. We got all this stuff here. It looks like maybe you can run fertilizer or something in there or lime or something I'm not positive you can run something in there with it another nice little detailed model the lights back here oh, those actually look really good too okay well, I think this is where we're going to leave this episode off. If you guys did like it, I know we didn't make as much progress in this one. But, um, you know, like, like I said, I wanted to try to show more of the process. So we're just not going to have quite as much progress in each episode, I feel like. Uh, eventually, we're going to be getting into some new tractors and stuff. Maybe I can give you a little bit of a sneak peek as to what that would be. Just a real quick one. Some of this. I don't want to show you too much. And uh, we'll be getting into some of that. That may be what I use this series for a little bit is just playing with some of these other tractors, the smaller stuff. Things that I want to mess with or like to mess with that just won't work with the other series or just won't fit as well maybe. So, yeah. Having a great time with this one. If you guys are having a good time, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next episode.